You know, I think it's become a new pastime proving people wrong about Nibiru. Let's dig on into that third place deck profile, shall we? Make sure you guys smash the crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out more awesome content. Freshly showered Robbie here. We're doing our third place deck profile straight out of the remote dual regional in Hawaii this past week. And you're like, oh boy, here we go again, more Swords Law. I wanted to talk about actually some more of the comments that we had from the original profile. I wanted to go through here. I wanted to give some more of my uh, input now that Brothers of Legends has come out. I've actually playtested a lot against Crooked Crook, Turbo slash Crag and Control. Um, and some of the things you kind of have to do in that matchup. So remember that uh, it's going to be very, very, very focused on newer stuff. Remember Brave is right around the corner. So we'll be seeing this deck evolve again in a month or so. But once again, I just wanted to kind of talk about current innovations because some of you are like, oh, I left after seeing DP. Oh my god, Nibiru in the main deck. <laughs> Such a scrub. You can play anything in this format as long as it's got a good deck build and you can succeed with it. So, we have triple copies of Mo Yi. Uh, this is your best card in the deck. It's your draw power. I don't know why you're not playing three of these in the first place. All right. We're playing triple copies of Long Yun. Now, the original, original builds. I was playing two of these things. And, uh, you know, going back to three, I understand why you play three of them. Uh, that 1200 burn damage in time is the best thing that you could ever actually hope for. And then I'm only playing two Taie. I think playing more of this just leads to necessarily bad hands. Uh, two of this should get you out of every situation that you could ever actually, hmm, you just need to find yourself in. And uh, to the one guy that doesn't realize, this is an activated effect, not an unsummon effect. People still don't know their Sword Soul cards. All right, we have Triple Gobbies of Ecclesia. This card is nuts if you go second, guys. All right, don't underestimate this card. This card with a Vishuda, if your opponent's got two to three monsters on the field, is just pure gas. All right, like, that's just free monsters all day long for this deck. So, good stuff right here, right? Uh, though I still hate this card because if you open this and you get ashed, you're like, Ugh. Cards an ash magnet. Yeah, I know. And uh, ash still sees a lot of play in the modern format, so you're still forced to deal with that. Triple Gobbies of Vishuda. Uh, originally, I was on two of these. Um, more that I've played, three is good. Um, remember, we're not playing any of them other tangies. I, I know that people like them, but uh, they're not for me, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah, I don't have anything else to say about this. Uh, the spot removal on this card's busted, though. All right? Certain situations, like... Moving a monster out of the way to get indirect damage can mean game in a lot of situations. All right. Uh, one dasher, one celestial. To those of you that are like, why are you playing DP? I like playing this deck as a control variant. I know a lot of players might not want to hear that. Uh, and I mean, 10 ye players can enjoy their builds. I don't have anything wrong with the more explosive 10 ye variant. I just, when DP came out, I wanted to play DP. All right, the card is good right now, ladies and gentlemen. And, and I mean, you did keep five cards to it. It's basically your 10-E package, all right? And I know that the diehard fans out there are like, no, DP's bad. No, is good in this deck, all right? I feel like DP's gotten me out of so many clutch situations. Uh, we have triple copies of Ash, Blossom, and Joy of Spring. Ah, uh, there's nothing else to really say about this. Card's kind of bad. Like, it's bad and it's good. All right, oh, look, to the naysayers out there, they're like, oh, my God, Nibiru's so trash. This card is a lifeline, all right? I don't care if I'm going first, all right? My opponent's probably going to blow up my board anyway, and I can just Nibiru them back. I hate to tell you this, but that's how this format works, especially when you're playing frickin' Sword Soul out here. Your deck is not as unbreakable as players think it is. You need cards like this. And you know what? If it doesn't come up in the matchup, side it out. Ruby, you could just side it in now. I would rather have this card in more game ones than not at all. And I think everybody that has seen me play this has agreed with me on this, at least in this particular build. This is fine. All right. Trying to push that out, I feel like this leads into bad issues. This card's clutch, too. Uh, I actually didn't realize how much I'd like Baylor this format. Uh, especially, like, against Try. Like, this card's nuts. Even though Try's kind of fallen a little bit out of favor as of this point in time. I mean, it's still there, but it's more like bird combo now. Uh, you don't get like as much value out of this. So, eh, it's just things you'll have to work on as you play. 
Uh, we have triple copies of Sword Soul Rota. Uh, please play three of these. You're doing yourself a huge disservice if you don't. One copy of the Monster Reborn for the archetype. Uh, yeah. This card on a tie extension. God, if you open this long Yun Mo Yi, you have the biggest shit grin on your face. I right? like, you're just, you're on cloud nine. Um, for those of you that are like, no desires is better, I'm playing Fusion Destiny, first of all. Uh, this card searches Fusion Destiny. That is the entire purpose of this card. All right, I understand that, yeah, Mo Yi Drell is pretty freaking good. Yeah, it is. Sometimes you open mo this in Mo Yi. You know what happens? Your Mo Yi gets Veiled, you're activating the Prosperity, and you're going to get some resources. All right, you know how many times I've opened up the Mo Yi? And I've been impermed. Mm. Nothing you can do about it, though. Uh, triple copies of Fusion Destiny, because we're playing DP. All right, doesn't get any uh, different than this, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, triple imperm, because yeah, you need hand traps. You need the ability to stop your opponent from engaging. I mean, Ash, Nibiru, all that should handle that. Two copies of Blackout. Originally, I remember playing one of this in the very early builds. Uh, the more that I've played this, this gets boarded out a lot. Alright, and then we have one of this. This card's garbage. I hate this card so much. This card gets boarded out. It's literally, you see it, you see it. That's how I feel about that card. Alright. Extra deck. Alright. So we have one Yazi. Alright. So you level modify down through your uh, sword summit or your sword rota uh, to be able to get this to pop something to bring out a friend. Okay, one Boxia because LOL getting a double spin is one of the best things ever. Two Gobbies of Cheese Ow. Um, I ask you, why are you not playing two of these? If you're playing this build. All right. uh, also, a new thing that I just recently learned that uh, you only can use one of these effects. It's not each effect once per turn. You have to choose. Things that I recently learned for 500. Uh, one Crimson Blader. Uh, we have one copy of Mr. Berserker of the Ten Yi because generic spot removal comes up. One copy of Dragite. I was under Goes and TC Boo five times this, six times? A glitch, three games? No, it was five times this weekend. Um, Mo Yi is your best friend to put this card on the field. This card laughs at your opponent because, hey, you got a water negate set up. What if I can't do anything to you? What, what if 3k is. The Apex, yes, ladies and gentlemen, this card, uh, this card won me games. Uh, now in the TC Boo scenario, uh, you're not playing the game anyway. You're gonna have to like Ecclesia, uh, do some shenanigans to play the game. So good luck on that. Uh, one Baron, I still think that this card's bad. I made Chang Ying once in my entire life, and I've did well at three, four events so far. Ruddy Rose, I never make this. Just another extra deck utility. Uh, Monk, this card's nuts. <laughs> this card, uh, I got. <laughs> I actually got Veilard. Uh, no, I got impermed on this. My opponent summoned Diva. I uh, impermed it, and the, or no, I Veilard it, and he couldn't attack over the Verte. So on the next turn, I got the Verte again. He was just like, "Well, yeah, that actually happens." We have one copy of Destroy Phoenix Enforcer, uh, one Baguska. Never make this card, by the way, and one Zeus. They're just there as resources. Now, Psyduck. Before this weekend, I want to decide this card. Um, having played in the Hawaii Regional, um, I redact that entire statement. Um, there were games where you wouldn't see enough materials to make this card, alright? And while I love this card, and it's very good in certain matchups, no. No. I'm not maiming this. I really wanted to, but man oh man. Uh, these were dead because I didn't play any Sword Soul Mirrors. I really wanted to play the Mirrors. card's so good. Card's nuts. Um, board breakers. I don't like losing to shenanigans. That's why we play these. Um, these were nuts this weekend. Holy crap! I the amount of goes and matches that got taken care of because of this card astronomical. Good stuff. Then we got triple anti spell fragrance. Nothing's changed here. Card's still good. And then triple copies of the other board breakers. Now, one thing particularly that I noticed out of my regional, the other Sword Soul build that ended up uh, performing well was also like a going second variant. Like he was maining 
the Dark Rulers and the Evenlies. And I'm already like kind of adjusting into that post side. So I think this is one thing I kind of wanted to point out is you do play this deck with a lot of heavy board breakers um, with the intention of being able to break those large boards. So in a sense, maybe I'm just going second DP turbo with certain things. And as I said, uh, for a lot of the things that you side out in a lot of your games, this gets sided out. I side out one of that quite a lot. Um, it really depends on like how heavy you want to board. Uh, these and these are always like go-tos. Like um, boarding down into one copy of the trap in certain matchups where you're going second is absolutely fine. All right, I don't have an issue with that. And if you really need to get spice, you can board out a pot. Um, I actually, a lot of matchups I find myself boarding out of a shooter and going down to two. It really depends on how you're looking at playing certain matchups, but boarding down to two Vishudas doesn't hurt that much. Especially like when you gotta bring in like a Protos. It really depends on how severe you wanna go. If you're planning on playing the Mirror, um, you're bringing in this card, you're bringing in token collectors, bringing in DRNMs, and if you're going first or second, you know, evenly, it, you adjust and do what you need to do. For the board breaker so just a little bit more explanation some matchups for this weekend one kraken control is actually my friend i actually had to play him in round one i've been playtesting with him a lot to find out the matchup your kraken control matchup is pretty interesting so good luck with that um wonder east player um this deck is whatever in that matchup you do what you got to do um db defense mode usually pretty good uh let's see here uh, round three was eldlich uh with pinker tops main deck yeah, I know that was, I lost game one to that and I cried so hard. Uh, round four was uh, Akano, who ended up winning the regional with Lyrical Lisk. Uh, I actually got double recital Starlinged, Lava Golemed, and OTK'd through the other Wing Beast monster. That was a fun time. And then we ended up losing, or no, we ended up losing, winning the last round to an Atlantean Mermail player, or just Atlantean Toolbox Turbo Small World, actually, that ended up getting ninth. So, that was pretty interesting. So, guys. Hope you enjoyed the uh, little breakdown on this. Nothing's changed, but a little bit more explanations for things. I don't care if you agree with the build or not. It's uh, it's working for me, and you know, once Brave comes out, I get to play the sh Dimensional Shifter in the main deck. Thanks, OCG. I can't wait for that. As if coming up on Twitch, guys, thanks. Smash love the crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss some more awesome content. And I'll see your beautiful faces back here later on in the day. It's more cool awesome content. You guys stay safe out there. Peace out, guys. Patrons! Thank you! Uh. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching! Check out these other videos!